1973 Mini Clubman, the 998cc car. Now, this is probably one of my favorite things that's coming here this year. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. Normally what we do is we have a wander around the bodywork and try and pick some faults, put anything out, any marks or anything. Um, if we just do that, it's going to be a very short video because really there is nothing to note on this car at all. All the paintwork's the same colour, all nice and straight. The wheels are lovely, the arches are lovely, the trim's correct. All the seams, which normally go on a Mini, if you know what you're looking at. Every single one of them is perfect. If we're going to be really picky, there is a tiny mark there. Where I'm guessing the bonnet's caught at some point. But, I mean, even under LED lights, every panel on this car is exactly the same colour. The seals are good. The gutters around the top here are all excellent. But we will have a full look round. So if we start on this front wing, nothing to report. This seam and this bit of metal is all really good around there. Going out the driver's door, there's nothing around the bottom of the Weimar is that you normally see. The chrome work on the Weimar is excellent. Same on the handle. And the trim on the bottom of the window, the seals are brand new. We're gonna shine on it. I think it could do with a good hand polish, but that's more just sat in here for a few weeks. Doesn't do it any justice, really. On the rear end, again, that rear wheel's lovely. All in there, it's nice and clean. Nothing at all to note. And it is as clean. It, we, we, we collected it on a trailer. When it came off the trailer, I popped my head underneath it. And it is this clean underneath. Tiny little bit of pitting on the chrome around the, around the window, if it, around the light. If that's something you want to sort out, you can get those brand new off the shelf still. Rear bumper looks to be brand fire new. Not even any marks around here where people have been at it with keys. Rear end's really clean. The glass is nice and clean. It's got the heated rear screen in it. Really, really good. Going down the passenger side, it's the same story again. Now the pop-out windows, you've got, if you're going to, you know, you, that would probably polish off. But if you're going to be really picky, tiny bit of surface on the little plate that covers the back of the trim. The trim around the actual window is perfect. It's just that tiny little bit on both sides and again this is how picky i'm having to be to try and find something wrong with this thing again passenger side not a mark not a dent not a scrape if someone told you that had just come out of the factory you probably believe them except for the fact that it's probably nicer again the chrome work on the front is excellent and have a look at the interior so it's a red or a maroon outside with a sort of purpley coloured interior. You can probably see it better on the pictures that we upload because the camera sort of kills it a little bit. But I mean, the rear bench doesn't look like it's ever been sat in. Carpets are lovely. They've not lost any of their colour. It's got the correct seal bit where the seat sits. Headlining's lovely. No marks on there at all. No stains. There's no smells in here at all. It smells like an old Mini, but in a good way. Again, these, the carpets in the front, uh, lovely, the rubber trim on the bottom, pedals are excellent. Put that back in and keep it clean. Door cards, the same story, all this sort of plastic key. I'm guessing maybe Baker. Steering wheel is excellent. No wear at all on that. I tried to find some faults, it's really quite difficult. We'll go around and have a look on the other side. The doors shut, lovely, you don't have to slam them or anything like that. They're just a nice, smooth shut. Door gaps are excellent. This is exactly the same story as the other side. Just what you want to see. If you want a show level 70s Clubman, or if you want a show level Mini, you're not going to find much better out there. Short of paying 60 grand for a fully restored Mark 1. Front the boot. Again, quite often you find with these, you've got to give them a real clout, but nothing at all. Perfectly adjusted. Straps are good. Inside the boot lid's good. Now the carpet is folded up here. So it is the correct carpet, but it's folded up. Tank on the left, battery cover's still there. Um, and it has come with some spares, bits and bobs. Uh, another set of plates, because it's on black plates. Uh, but the bulkhead and everything's lovely. 
down the bottom there so quite often they can go down in here but again that's lovely we'll have a look under the bonnet tell you what we'll do we'll just fire it up because it starts on the button this car every time barely needs any choke when it's cold starts perfectly like i said give it that lift it up and we'll get a bonnet stay in place I have driven this car down the road, it drives as good as it looks, it's really tight, no wobbles, no rattles, no smoke at all, no, like I say 998cc, got all the correct tags on the bottom, there's no rot on the inner wings, nothing on the bulkhead on the back, lovely and smooth, drives exactly like you want it to. We will detail the history. Um, and everything that comes with the car on the description. But really, this is probably one of the best minis I've ever seen. Uh, come from quite a large collection of quite high value stuff, Ferraris, that sort of stuff, some very lovely tractors, I'm told. Um, but basically, this one's being replaced with a newer injection mini um, that was bought from us in the last sale. We dropped that off and brought this one back. If it was mine, I wouldn't be letting it go. Um, but any questions, get in touch. Have a look on the website, send us a message, give us a call. Come and have a look at it. That's the answer, really. Thank you.